hello friends in this video i'm going to show you how you can add a free vpn on your windows 10 operating system so let's get started and let's see how we can do it so please like this video and subscribe our channel so what you need to do is you just need to click on your windows icon here and then uh, click on the settings option and from here you just need to go to the network and internet settings which is this uh, one and in this windows you will be able to see uh, this option here which says vpn so just click on this option and by default you will see that this advanced options allow vpn over metered network is on and allow vpn while roaming is also on so by default these are on on my windows operating system and you might also want to make them on if they are not on now in order to add a new vpn you can click on this option which says add a new vpn connection so i am going to just click on this option and then here we have the choice to provide the vpn provider so by default you can see this option is windows built in so i'm going to choose the same option i don't have any other option on windows by default and now the name of the connection so and the name of the connection i'm going to give here is let's say vpn book and here i need to give server name or address so just open your browser and then just search for vpnbook.com so just go to the vpnbook.com and then just go to the free vpn tab here so i'm going to just click on the free vpn tab and here you will see two options for free vpn one is pptp vpn and other is free open vpn so pptp is point to point tunneling and that's what we are going to use for this video so when you scroll down here you will see various options which might be closer to your location so just choose the address which is closer to your country location so what i am to do uh, is i am going to choose this address which is france vpn so this is uh, closer to my location i can also choose uh, this one because this is also for france so let's uh, choose this one so i am going to just uh, uh, copy this address from here which is closer to my location and uh, also uh, you can see here it has given us a username and password to connect uh, to connect uh, to this vpn so we are going to uh, come back to this web page uh, so don't close this web page yet just close the address and then just provide the address here and then here vpn tabs as i said we are using point to point tunneling protocol means pptp protocol which is also visible so you just need to give the P uh, tab pptp here and here tap of sign and info just leave it as username password and there are other tap of sign in you can choose from here but i'm going to choose uh, username and password because on that website uh, we have uh, the username and password the other options are optional so i'm going to just leave them as blank if you want to give this username and password here you can also give this username uh, which is uh, uh, on this website directly into this section so username and password but for now i'm going to leave them as blank and and now i can see that vpn book is added to my vpn list so in the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to activate this vpn book uh, vpn so just click on this vpn book option which you have uh, created and then i'm going to just click on this connect button which is going to ask me for my username so i'm going to the website once again so this will be the username and password so i'm going to just give the username here and password also so i'm going to just write that password here and and then i'm going to just click on ok button 
which is uh, going to start the connection so that how you can connect the free vpn using windows 10 operating system uh, in case uh, you want to remove your vpn you can once again go to settings and then go to network and internet and then go to uh, vpn and just click on the vpn you have created and first of all you need to disconnect and then if you want to remove it just click on the remove option here so uh, your vpn will be removed so that it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video